Google accidentally dropped details of a new product called the Nest Home Max, and I'm going to tell you why I think this is poised to shift what you're doing in your smart home, especially if you're someone who uses both Google and or Nest products. But even if you're not, I'm going to tell you why I believe this is going to move things. Now, of course, we're going to talk about what we know, and then I'm going to give you some predictions for what I think is about to go on and how you can start to prepare yourself for the dropping of this product and how the industry is moving a little bit, at least from my perspective. Now, the first thing is the name. It's the Nest Hub Max. It's a 10-inch smart display. So this is the 10-inch Lenovo smart display that I have. And this device would mirror very closely in terms of size. Now, this also has the speakers on the side, and we've seen the Google Home Hub with the speakers kind of towards the back. It remains to be seen what that design will look exactly like, but it will have a stereo speaker pair. That's the intention here, and an HD screen capability. The other thing we know is that it will have a Nest camera on board, a full Nest camera. So that will be a very interesting inclusion in the device, and it allows us to make Google Duo video calls, which is something that was obviously omitted from the Google Home Hub here. We also know that Nest devices and the Nest system in general has been championing a protocol called Thread. And Thread is not the biggest one in the industry. It's not the one that's taken over the industry, but it is in the Nest Guard system and all of the Nest sensors. That's what they're utilizing is Thread. In my 2019 Google predictions video, I talked about a platform that I believed Google would roll out this year. And that platform is basically two pieces of of uh, technology here. This is what I believe is going on. Now, Thread is one component to that, and that's one of the big reasons they bought Nest way back when, when they did. The other component to that is Google Assistant, and we've seen this Google Assistant gadgets start to be talked about at CES. Now, those two components will make up what I believe is the platform that Google is moving forward with to take over most of, if not a major, major component of the smart home and the internet of things in general. Now what this means is my first prediction is that the Nest Hub Max will have what is called a thread and router. It will obviously have the Google Assistant on board. We've seen that with every smart display from Google and their partners, but it will have what is called a thread and router. It will be the end router and it will act just the same as a Nest Guard. Now this also means that they have to be able to work directly with all of those thread end devices. Now if you don't know what the thread end devices are, I have actually a video here on the channel that I will leave down in the description below that talks about what thread is exactly. But the other component to this, and this is a bit of a wilder prediction, but Thread is utilizing what is called dot dot for their application layer. This is basically the top layer of the, the overall protocol. And dot dot is intended to bridge the gap between all the different smart home protocols. And it's very important for bridging between Zigbee devices and thread devices and that's the specific partnership that I'm seeing develop much more here as we go forward. So what that means, and this is again the wilder prediction, if a device has dot dot as its application layer, I believe the Nest Hub Max will be able to communicate directly with it. So this would be the, the entryway for Google to start taking components of your smart home. There aren't a lot of devices out there with dot dot on it right now, but any Zigbee devices with dot dot, I think will interface directly with the Nest Hub Max. And that obviously shifts your security system in your home, especially if you're already using something like the Nest Guard. This would give you access to more device types over time, especially. It also brings thread into your home as a primary protocol that you're using. So that has the ability of shifting a lot very quickly 
especially with users who are going to want some of the other components to what I believe is going to be a part of this device. We should talk about when I feel the Nest Hub Max is coming out. May 7th to May 9th is Google I.O. and this is where I believe they will drop the product. The fact that they're already building web pages for this and, and they didn't mean to release it, but the fact that they're already building that content says that they're getting pretty close to being ready. I don't think you build content this far out. So so, you know, I think you're going to see it May 7th to May 9th, not sure which exact day just yet. So this is an HD display, it's a 10 inch HD display and it's going to look a lot like Lenovo screen here. I don't know whether we'll have the matte finish or the shiny finish, you know, I don't know what you're going to get there but it's HD so this is intended definitely to show you the feeds from your Nest camera especially the one right on board this device which is going to enable your Google Duo video calls there. So that inclusion there tells me that they're focused on content as well and so that coupled with that big speaker tells me that they're going to have something like Netflix integration ready for this device for the launch. The fact that it's called Nest Hub Max also tells us that they're really trying to bridge the gap between those two systems. Obviously Google and Nest have been pretty separate. Google fired the CEO of Nest, I think, in order to bring those systems together much closer. Uh, I think that's been widely reported as well that that was one of the reasons. And here's the first device that will truly bridge that gap. Now that means that lots of the Nest devices that are out there right now need to be ready for full integration. So when you have a Nest Protect, the smoke uh, detector in your home, it really doesn't interface very well. Uh, well, actually it doesn't interface at all. So it's that's a bit of a problem. The other Nest devices don't really interface very well with your Google Home Hub or any of the Google Assistant enabled products. So all of those have to be ready and this explains a lot of where Google and Nest's development re resources have been going for a while, what they've been working on. They have to be ready with that integration. It has to be very good from that day forward in, in order to release a product like this. Now, what about the Nest camera? I don't think you're going to see a shift there. This is the one component that I don't think will really change. Obviously, it's going to be used for Google Duo. Does that mean you can use other cameras throughout your home for Google Duo calls? That might be the case, but I'm not expecting that functionality day one, and I'm really not expecting a different deal for the Nest camera. So I'm not expecting suddenly the subscription service to be gone. I'm not expecting an onboard storage capability, although that could be there. You could have an SD card capability directly on the smart display if Google's kind of thinking, okay, we need to fix that problem finally. But my expectation is that service, the way it works, anything to do with the Nest camera other than the Google Duo does not change. The device will be in the $250 to $300 US range and I think it'll creep up to that $300. It may even creep up higher than that. So that's going to be the big gap that they have to get over, the big hump that Google has to get over because we know their Google Home Max hasn't done very well. They haven't sold a ton. They don't have a lot of the market share of the larger speaker or smart speaker component here. But there are a lot of makers now making things that are in that 250, 300 range with Google Assistant capability that if Google could produce a product at that price range, they would kind of push a lot of them out of the way and get their own device front and center here with pretty good value. So I think they're gonna target that 299 and we'll see it go on sale around 250 US. Again, could be higher depending on which camera they're sticking on board there and one more wild prediction that I have for you here. That wild prediction is that this will be a mesh Wi-Fi router essentially or access point and there's a number of reasons I say that this could happen and this is the most this is the most crazy prediction or the most different prediction and has the most likelihood to not be the truth but right now I would hold off until I saw Google I.O. because 
the Google Wi-Fi, the mesh Wi-Fi system just isn't fast enough anymore when I compare it to the other mesh Wi-Fi systems out there. The other thing is we're out there buying multiple products and this is where they could provide a lot of worth with it being a mesh Wi-Fi device as well as a thread device and having the Nest camera on board. This would mean you'd have a lot of processing going on on this device, but it would also mean that you could upgrade that mesh Wi-Fi system with one of these, and it would be the entryway into another product that they would have to, or likely have to release at the same time. I think it makes a lot of sense, and I think Google knows we're out there buying all these different devices and that they could corner a lot of the market in terms of mesh Wi-Fi by giving us this option and convert a lot of their Nest, uh, pe people who own Nest products already into a Google Mesh Wi-Fi system with this kind of deal. So I really feel like we're going to see both an uh, inclusion of Wi-Fi in the Nest Hub Max and then a secondary device that is a new version of Google's Mesh Wi-Fi devices. So there you go guys, what do you think about this? What do you think is coming with the Nest Hub Max? Do you think it's possible that we get all of this capability and still keep it under that 300 US mark? I mean, one of these cameras oftentimes, are, they're pretty expensive cameras, so for me to say that, potentially give a Wi-Fi router capability or Wi-Fi access point capability sounds like a ton when we're talking about everything that would be included on this, but that's kind of where I think it's headed, guys. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and of course, we'll see you next time.